Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and we are here unboxing the latest comic block. Uh, comic Block's a service from NerdBlock that caters to just comic fans. Um, each box costs, eh, it's like 13 in shipping, so when everything's done, you're looking at between 15 and 20 bucks, but you get some really, really cool items in there, usually a lot of exclusives. Uh, unlike some of the uh, other boxes out there, there really isn't a theme other than comic-related. Um, so usually there's some exclusive comics, there might be a t-shirt, um, I'm trying to think what else has been in there, like pens that were related in there. Uh, we're going to open it up and we're going to show off what's inside. Uh, first and foremost, right on top, we've got a t-shirt. This one is kind of cool, a uh, symbiont. symbiote. Spider Gwen style. Um, I don't know if this is necessarily an exclusive, but it is from Shirt, uh, Shirt Punch and Nerd Block. Usually, a lot of these are exclusives. This one does not have an exclusive tag yet, though, so I'm not going to say it is. Um, it's kind of a cool design. I'm not sure if I necessarily would wear it. I definitely wear a Spider Gwen hoodie if they came in men's sizes. But um, this T-shirt, it's it's cool, but. You know, I'm not necessarily uh, big on just like t-shirts with characters uh, like that. So, uh, nice t-shirt, just ne not necessarily my style. Uh, let's see here. Kind of cool. Um, well, I'm not going to say cool. It's uh, rather appropriate. We have DC Comics Bombshell number one. Uh, the second issue actually hits shelves this week, so it's very appropriate that it is in this box, which is coming um, this week and hitting people's doorstep. So really, really good timing, whether or not that's on purpose, whole other thing. Uh, DC Bombshells is kind of a reimagining of the women of the DC Universe. It's gotten a lot of praise, really high ratings. Uh, we, as a site, love it, so uh, highly recommend it. Check it out. Uh, it's DC Comics Bombshells. It's a good one. Uh, let's see what else we've got. We've got uh, Red Sonia Conan, a comic block exclusive cover from Dynamite and Dark Horse. Really pretty cool cover. I'm digging it. I like it. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful cover. Uh, really cool style. Uh, it looks almost like a sketch cover, the way it's kind of laid out. Um, as far as the series, couldn't really tell you, but uh, at least the cover is pretty neat. And I'm always a sucker for exclusive anyway, so... Yeah, what a shock on that one. Uh, this one, though, is pretty cool. Uh, it's interesting. We have X-Files Season 11, number one, comic book, uh, comic block exclusive cover. Uh, the reason I say it's interesting is because they've got the comic wrapped in, uh, there's a piece of cardboard in there and, and um, sealed. So uh, it's just a very interesting way of doing it and uh, make sure it's protected. But uh, this is looking like it's in pretty good condition, so it worked out. Uh, of course, X-Files classic television series. It's coming back to television. Um, they did a season 10. This is season 11, which just started like a week or two ago. Uh, it's a pretty cool cover, a uh, toy cover, which is kind of like all the rage now. It's the big thing uh, that's going on, pretty popular, uh, featuring uh, Mulder and Scully. Um... I don't remember if there was actually a two-pack of the toys, but uh, the figures look pretty close to what came out back then. Um, I know, because I probably had a set somewhere. But overall, uh, it's kind of neat. I'm always a fan of exclusives, so neat. Uh, next, we have kind of a comic from Heart and Brain by the Awkward Yeti. And it's just kind of a sheet comic. It is what it is. Uh, printing, though, I don't know if this... I'm going to guess this is the box. You can see there's like a little blue on there, so it's probably the box bleeding. Um, this was on the bottom, so that would make sense. Uh, so this is the fourth comic block, the August issue. It's kind of cool. They also give you this little uh, sheet to tell you what's up. So we're going to go over everything really quick again. We have DC Comics Bombshells, popular statue series featuring DC's female heroes, uh, represented as m classic pinup models, comes to life in this new series that sees them fighting in the Second World War. Next, we have X Files Season 11, number one comic block variant. Uh, the adventures of special agents Mulder and Scully continue in this 11th season. This comic block exclusive cover variant is the one you'll want to bust out of its package. 
We also have Red Sonia Conan number one comic block variants. Legendary warriors Sonia and Conan are reunited in this series. This time they're up against a powerful evil sorcerer, but a shadow from the past remains. We next have Heart and Brain comic block exclusive prints. The Awkward Yeti's popular Heart and Brain webcomic offers insightful and humorous commentary on passion versus practicality, and we've commissioned this exclusive comic suitable for framing that speaks to us all. And then finally, Spider Gwenum? Uh, Gwen hasn't been herself lately as this exclusive, aha, so they are saying it is exclusive, though it does not have the exclusive tag. Um, uh, this exclusive tee from Shirt Punch de uh, depicts, love this shirt, you should check out Shirt Punch every day for their four unique pop culture designs. Um, so we've got, let's see here, one, two, three comics, two of which were exclusives. We've got the Heart and Brain uh, print and the t-shirt. So the t-shirt's 10 to 15. Uh, I mean, the comics themselves, just going off the cover, is, I think this is, two, uh, of course there's no price on it. $2.99 or $3.99, this is probably $2.99 or $3.99. Um, DC uh, Bombshells is $3.99. Uh, so the comics alone are about 15. You look in between the comics, the t-shirt, at least 20 bucks worth of stuff. Um, you know, exclusives go for more than cover price, so factor that in as well. Uh, is it worth it? Absolutely. I think if you uh, haven't been impressed with some of the other exclusive blocks that are out there, or some of the other geek blocks out there, uh, Comic Block is the way to go if you're a comic fan. Of course, we've got a link on this YouTube video. Uh, you help support our site by purchasing off that link, and uh, we'll have a, a link when we eventually load this onto our website as well. So, thanks for watching. This is Grass Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. Uh, you can catch us every single day at graphicpolicy.com. Of course, we're on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, all at Graphic Policy. Uh, keep it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading and keep it geeky. Thanks.